Welcome to TOL Season 8 Week 2. And folks, right off the bat, we got the big news we were all looking for. Touchdown, Tossin Leo is back, baby. And he's ready to toss some TDs. And folks, we've got a great game for you today. Two teams with some serious history in this league who both are coming off a loss in week one. So, you know, way too early to call this a must win, but one of these teams is going to be looking down the barrel of 0-2. And, uh, of course, the team with the ball in their hands right now, led by Dexter Doily, is the champs, the logs. And after that first week, a lot of the people... Um, who heard the rumors this offseason. Um, and uh, we already have a big play here on third down. Looking for Leon, and he drops it. So they're going to have to punt three and out. So the rumors were that the Logs enjoyed their win perhaps a little too much. And they were out drinking and eating and getting fat and drunk all through the offseason. Wow, perfect punt down to the one. Um, and that appears to be the case. You know, rumors that... Uh, Dexter Doily looks um, like James Harden last year uh, seemed to be true, and they don't seem ready to play this season. So can they get their asses in shape in time, or will they just fall too far behind? And the Turtles also lost a tough game in week one. But Leo, in his green, doesn't have much open. He's going to try and force it into coverage, and it's incomplete. So defense so far, and that seems to be the theme this season, which is great. Um, I like that the spreadsheet was focused a little more defensively here. Um, gives us, you know, an opportunity for points to really matter. Um, and, uh, yeah, so so the teams trade punts, and we're basically back where we started. Samuel with the handoff. Uh, running back gets five. And now the, the pitch. And uh, I did not check, I should have checked, but I did not check what these teams' uh, drafted bonuses were or what their offensive play style was. I'm thinking this is balanced rush based on the early play calling for the logs. Um, it's now second and nine, lots of motion here. Um, this play, I have used it several times. Oh, Leon, and they call me Leon, and I will catch the damn ball. He shall be Leon. And, uh, but I have not had that much success. I feel like my quarterback gets sacked every time. All right, second and 10. Doily with some moves, some shake, and some bake. Who's going to make, like, a Will Ferrell team where all the characters are named after Will Ferrell rolls? Ben Doily. Oh, check the replay. He got his arms extended at the point of attack, and it looked like the ball crossed the plane. Does not matter. Will not be a controversy because he just takes it in the next play. Dexter Doily, after being shut down on the first drive, they really just ran the ball down their throats on the second drive, and they look ready to go. So the Logs take the 7 to nothing lead, and Baxter Stockman... He's been a regular uh, kick return specialist. Uh, there was a part of me that thought Philip would take the uh, backup uh, wide receiver thing and make him a backup wide receiver just to make sure he was the best kick returner in the league. Panda Khan going places. Gets that south sideline. Beautiful run. But I think he did take like a tight end bonus and because I know Baxter traditionally been the backup tight end. So I think he took a tight end bonus of some sort. To get Baxter good. But anyway, Leo to Casey Jones. Casey Jones is touchdown! Casey Jones. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes on the half shell. Turtle power. Um, that was really cool. So uh, after both teams are slow to start, they both fire back with excellent second drives that result in touchdowns and unless uh we get something wild here we're going to end the first quarter with a 7-7 game here comes Beal 
And, uh, yeah. As, as is no surprise. Dexter Do Oh, boom. Super Shredder. Takes him down. Kevin Nash style. Hits him with a jackknife powerbomb. And, uh, Do Doily's got the, uh, the south end here. Gets a couple, but not enough. And, and we've seen Doily across multiple leagues now be a star. <laughs> Different sports. Boom! Got him! Super Shredder with the safety! Wow, we thought, we were like, wow, well, uh... Emily the Girl Kicker kicks off, but we thought that maybe um, the Logs would score before the end of the half, but it goes the other way with the safety. And Baxter Stockman's been known to return a few kicks in his day. Let's see what these divers do. Oh, coughs it up. Baxter trying to get them in field goal range instead turns the ball over, and Jeff Brown does not get a lot of playing time, or at least uh, <laughs> at a... At a known position, he's probably one of the linemen or something. But called play. Boom. Got him. Super Shredder with three sacks and a safety in the first half. He's looking for defensive player of the week honors. Bobby, when are we going to get that going? When are we going to get, like, offensive and defensive player of the week? Special teams player of the week. Doily. Nice run. Not enough to score, but a nice run. So very interesting first quarter as it's 9-7. to seven. The Logs are starting this drive off in a very positive manner here. Uh, pick up a four. Let's see if they just keep feeding Doily here. I don't think he went heavy rush, but man, I mean, they, they really are leaning heavily on the run here. Um, and, and Dexter looks strong, so it's probably a smart strategy, but um, it'll be interesting to see if they incorporate a little more passing, because they did have one big pass play on their scoring drive, too, so... Um, really again goes south. Does not have much of a, a move to get past that one uh, defender. But still, you know, five, five at a time is enough. And makes a nice move there finally. Did he get first down? They gave him the credit on the, on the extension that time. They didn't give it to him on the goal line, but they gave it to him there. Uh, Doily again. Ooh, there was a hole there. He was... He could have picked up his solid four, but he went for the big move, and I don't blame him. But ultimately did not result in significant yardage. So now we're at third and nine, and they will most likely uh, be passing here, as they do. And uh, Samuel going to take it himself, but not quite enough. But a field goal would give them the lead, um, and they're in, in you know pretty solid field goal range. I think this will be good. It's on the bottom hash, but I think this will be good. And it is off the upright and good. So Emily, the girl kicker, gives them the, the one-point lead, 10-9. to nine. And Baxter now trying to make up for his fumble. Brings it out to the 35. So a solid return. Nothing uh, legendary or anything like that, but solid. Um, Leo's got people open. Oh, ho, 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 interception by Clooney Pants. And Doily, shaking and baking. Picking up a couple more. Second and five. The dive. Um, I don't know if that was called or not. Um, but loss, loss of one, third and six. So another big play. Feel here as Doily gets again. Oh, great individual effort by that defender. Wow, they're going to kick a real long field goal here. Would not recommend this. Ooh, I think this is going to be a miss, but it should be close. Yeah, just off the upright. All right, so solid attempt by the kicker here, and it's but they got the ball in good field position now. Do the turtles? Panda Con just gets shut down. The defense is like. You can try shit, but don't try that shit. Not working it to Rocksteady at all, who's, who I would be giving the ball to. And it can... Brings third and one. Big play here. Motion. See, no backs. They're going to throw it. That, that back on the dump down is there. Panda Khan makes a nice move. Willow Whirlybird around that defender. Brings it down to the 25. Now we got first and... First and ten. They're just outside the red zone here. So Leo looks around. He's got somebody across the middle. He's got somebody up top. Casey Jones. 
Oh, Casey Jones with the second touchdown of the game, and neither of them were shorties either. Not getting any cheap ones. Touchdown, Tossin Leo, true to his name, throws for a second touchdown of the half. And they look to go into the halftime with a six-point lead. Last time they were in this position, they were actually able to get a safety, but the shitty kick like that, it makes the safety much less likely. So, yeah, with 48 seconds left, we'll see. This, this Logs offense is good, but it doesn't seem to be a big play offense. Uh, Doyley's uh, between the tackles kind of runner. So another solid five, but that's not going to get you points with 31 seconds left. Pitch out to Doily again. Ooh, a couple sweet moves. You know, picks up seven. Patting the stats, but not sure. It's going to get him into scoring position. So four, three. So they'll get one more playoff. Let's hope they pass it for their sake. Nope, just a dive up the middle. And so there we go. All right, so it's uh, 10 to 16 at the half in a game that both teams feel a lot of pressure to win this early in the season. Um, I will not be able to. And a penny shot. And so the logs will be kicking off. Baxter, eager to get his hands on the ball once again. Had a solid return out to about the 35 last time. Doesn't even get to the 20 this time. Logs were ready for him. First and 10. Leo drops back. Casey's open again. Oh, he's going deep in the middle to Rocksteady, and that was dangerous. Dangerous. Could have been intercepted, like the one that Cootie got earlier. But this one's another dive to Panda Khan. And speaking of dives, the defenders dive and miss, and he's got some green. Brought down rather easily. Does he not have a lot of hit power there, I wonder? Um, anyway, first and 10. Oh, and a complete pass to Pandacon there. Could have almost been defensive pass interference. Looked like he got there a little early, but Khan caught it anyway. And Rocksteady gets the shotgun delayed handoff. Boo, gets it. That, I think, is the most popular play in the playbook this year because it's so cheap. And it's, I mean, it's not good and... If the defensive guy's right there, you can lose like eight and nine yards on it. Oh, here goes Panda Khan. Oh, ho, 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 ho. on the half inch line. But they go to shotgun. This is probably a delayed handoff to Rocksteady again. Boom. See that? I mean, that's the problem with the play. But for how cheap it is, you can actually get some big plays off of it. So, um, you yeah, know, it's a reason why so many people picked it. Pass rushes on. Incomplete. Third and five. So this would be a huge stop for the defense. Oh, they get it. Wow, they were first and goal from the half-inch line. Made me look stupid by saying that that play was maybe undercosted. And they end up holding stout and keeping this. You know, it's still a two-score game, so the field goal is very important. But they keep it within reach. That was a great defensive stand by the Logs. And now here comes Beal. Gonna get past this guy. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that fumble takes a break in their direction. So the Logs get a lucky break there. Samuel now dropping back. Hands it off to Doily. Picks up three. Second and seven. Wide pitch out. Boom! Stuck. Third and one. Again, pitch out to Doily, but he's got a little more green this time. Coughs it up. Oh, but the Logs get it back. Hooey. Logs doing what they have to do to stay in this game. Do not go away from your offensive game plan here. Just because it's almost the fourth quarter. There's enough time to put together two solid drives and get one stop. Don't rush things here. Doily out in the, out in the wide. Picks up enough to get to, to third and seven. Pitch out that, that wide receiver with a great block. Doily making moves. First down. They are really pounding the rock here. Doily up the middle this time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. again, almost, almost broke it off for something big. I'm starting to think they are heavy rush because, man, the passes are 
very few and far between. This this would be uh You know, if this is just bounce rush, then uh they are really really focused on the run more than a bounce rush team normally is. Like let's see if they throw it here. This would be a situation where I would consider throwing it. But now they're going right back up top. Nice little moves there by DD, Dexter Doily, the daredevil himself. And this has been a beautiful drive. To get the first down, just a tad short. So the fourth quarter will be starting with a big play as uh, third and one. Now they can still kick a field goal because it would still keep it within one score, but you got to get that touchdown at some point. This might be their best opportunity. He gets the sideline. And he gets it down to about the eight. Yeah, the first and eight. So let's see. They really want this touchdown here. Called play. Oh, picks up a handful. Good job. Good effort there. Second and five. They are going to throw it this time. They might just check it down to Doily anyway. <laughs> He's the workhorse. And that's why. Touchdown, Dexter. Doily. From Jeremy Samuel. Who the hell is that? Jeremy Samuel. I don't know, but he's got a ring on his finger. 17 to 19. Two-point game. The difference now is that safety near the end of the first quarter. And uh, Baxter receives a shitty kick. Brings it about to the 29. Um, I think uh, Tim would call that a schmedium kick. Cross body. Strange throw to the shredder, but he's going places. Miss dive. Now they got, they held him to a field goal in a similar situation here. It was actually even closer that time. So a holding him to a field goal here is huge. Here comes Rocksteady and says, fuck your field goal, pal. Matches the effort of the previous drive with a faster drive. Thanks mostly to shredder. But finished off by my favorite Ninja Turtles villain himself, Rocksteady. And so the lead is nine points. Again, two scores. Beal's going to have a great opportunity at a return here. He's catching the ball to 18, so he should really bring it up places. Uh, brings it past the 40. Can it get past the Right about the 50. So great starting field position. Time a little bit more of a factor here. I mean, you can't completely abandon your offense, but... Oh, Super Shredder's been quiet since the first quarter. Wakes up with his fourth sack of the game. Probably going to be among the league leaders here. Um, Samuel rolls out, cross body. Oh, and the dude's just got stone hands, man. Third and 20. Really need to make something happen here. That bottom receiver looks open. Hoonan McGee, right? Little Hoonan McGee, is that his name? Something like that. Um, but a big play. I've called these guys enough now. I'm starting to remember these players' names over the years. Um, pitch out to DD, Dexter Doily, who picks up five. And again, with 2.30 left, not that you, you know, Doily is your star player, but you need some big plays here. And they got one through the passing game. Ooh, and Dexter says, touchdown! Dexter Doily! You got to love that. I mean, he just took it right through the gut of that defense. Used power, used nimbleness, dexterity. Tiptoed his way through the defenders and took it to the house. Now, will they kick the onside kick here? Will they let their deep? They're going to trust their defense. They should not have trusted Emily, the girl kicker, because that was not a great kick. And Baxter Stockman looking to make them pay. Brings it similar spot to where they just had it on their last drive. Now, they've got to be thinking touchdown here because the field goal doesn't put anything away. Um, Rocksteady picks up three. That's the last time out for the Logs. And they're going back to this Rocksteady play. And that time it's gobbled up. They lose a yard. It's now third and eight. Oof, throws it at what it would appear to be into traffic. Intercepted! Clooney, Clooney, Clooney! And this is, this is what we, that's what we wish for here, right? A close game here, two-point game. Got a dump down. McGee. Oh, Boone and McGee. 
with a minute nine left, and they are on the outskirts of field goal range already. Don't take a sack. Oh, going deep to McGee. Touchdown, McGee. Little Hoonin McGee. And that gives them a five-point lead, but they left time on the clock, and they're giving the ball back to Baxter Stockman. Always dangerous to let Baxter Stockman have the ball in the clutch. Now he goes right up the middle this time. Whoop! Oh, no! Baxter Stockman doing Baxter Stockman things, folks. The greatest kick returner in TOL history shows you why and already automatically puts them in field goal range. Now, are they going to get too careful with these? Uh, oh, they don't need a field goal. Field goal doesn't do them jack shit. But it still puts them in good field goal range here. PandaCon with the dive. Not exactly the two plays I would have called. Casey Jones was on fire early, but they haven't found him in a while. Got to be thinking, calling his name here. Oh, I thought Cootie might close it out. Fourth and seven. Turtles need this play. Got to have it. It's Casey Jones. Oh, Paul Bunyan! Paul Bunyan with the closeout sack. I thought Casey Jones was going to burn him one final time. Jeremy Samuel runs out the clock and the locks are on 21 points in the fourth quarter. Wow. That is some serious clutch gene right there. Dexter Doyle with 39 carries. You heard that correctly. 39 times he attempted to carry the ball. And probably the difference here was the efficiency of the quarterbacks. Because both teams rushed the ball very well. But uh, Jeremy Samuel was 71% and no interceptions. And Leo was 45% with two interceptions. So... Uh, what a great game. That was a really fun one. Um, congrats to both teams on picking up very important week two victories. And uh, look forward to seeing more.